International Heritage Week in 2022 at Calmer Abbey. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting piece that actually came to us through a local family who have loaned it to us and which we're really delighted about. And as we go forward, we're always trying to find more items connecting the Henry family and the local people in the local area here. Now this piece is really interesting because it really relates to Mitchell Henry's political career. He was an MP from 1871 to 1885 and this is his writing slope. So we imagine that he would have used this while traveling in the first class carriages and um, writing his speeches. It generally was a writing desk that you brought with you and Henry was well known for speech writing, for letter writing and so this is a piece that really reflects him. It's a beautiful leather piece restored over in Leatherfrack Conservation and on the front here it's got a beautiful brass lock with Mitchell Henry's in name inscribed on it. So it really nicely reflects Mitchell Henry as a person. And then also in this case we also have a beautiful document purse. And that's very interesting as well because the document purse um, has his address in his house in London on it, so his home, Streatham House, in Hyde Park in London, which was very close to the Houses of Parliament. So again, that's talking to us about his political career. And the document wallet would have been used um, probably to carry confidential documents to Parliament, maybe staff wages could have been carried in it. It had a very special lock called a Graham's lock. Now this document Wallace was also, um, is also on loan to us from a local family and it has also been restored over in Letter Frack Conservation. So these two pieces together really tell a part of the story of Mitchell Henry's personality and on display with them we have a beautiful set of French inkwells, they're called escargot inkwells, they were very fashionable at the time, they looked like little snails or escargots and some wax um, stamps that would have been used by Mitchell Henry to seal his letters and a little fountain pen.